In this uh, lesson, we're going to take a look at another reggae song, another Bob Marley song. Um, everything's going to be all right. And this has some, um, well, again, with reggae, uh, the rhythms are all sort of flip-flopped around. Uh, some things are on the beat, some things are syncopated. It's, it's, that's what makes this style interesting. Now, this song is, is pretty straight ahead and fairly simple as far as the bass is concerned. Um, it's in the key of A. Um, there's only one little like riffy thing that you have to worry about. Um, but always remember that the bass in reggae is, is much more melodic and, and it stands out on its own right. And that it's, it's, it's good to really know the foundational bass line before improvising too much on it. Because it's really, I think, a much bigger part of the song melodically than in a lot of other styles. Um, so, here we go. In the key of A. Um, I'm starting out playing an, an A major triad. Basically, you've just got A, D, and E in this song. So, think about the major pentatonic scale. That's how a lot of these riffs, or the couple of riffs that are in here, are based. That sort of like a major pentatonic riff. So, uh, once again, very simple at the beginning. Triad. So let's take a let's take a look at that riff here. Um, I'm sliding up from the E and going up to the high A. sliding out of it at the end there. Like that. That's basically it. Um, once you have that together, that's fine. That's the hardest riff in the whole thing. So we start off, like in a lot of Bob Marley songs, with the chorus at the beginning. So we're playing an A here to begin with. D, and just repeat that. So we're going from uh, A to D, back to A again. So then when we go into the verse, that's when we add the E chord. Uh, that's really the major difference. And, and, and the rhythm gets more consistent in the, in the verse. We go into an E, A, now a D, okay. So let's break this down a little bit. Um, the, the, the little 16th, 8th, 16th, 8th rhythm occurs a lot. That da 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 And so there's different combinations of that with other things. Um, in the beginning, pretty straight ahead. To the E. And then the D, that's a little bit different rhythm, it has the two eighth notes afterwards. And then the same little riff again. Then we go back to the A. And then the E has that little bit tricky rhythm. Um, so the E, we have the bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -ba -ba -dum, chromatic down to D. And here, this, this last little figure is the important figure. This is the melodic part of the bass line. It's, it's you're playing along with the vocals. Right 
right there. So you always want to play that riff at the end uh, because again, it's sort of like a, a band thing. And then you're back into the chorus. And uh, that's it. Um, I think the stuff to play around with is how you mix and match these dif different rhythm figures uh, if you're uh, improvising on it and whatnot. But um, it, this, is, this is a pretty structured reggae song. That's, uh, um, if everybody else is playing the right arrangement, it's good to keep the, all the parts together. They work together as a whole to create that groove. So, uh, okay, well, you know, enjoy uh, playing some Bob Marley stuff and always remember crank up the bass, make it super fat, use your neck pickup to get the uh, um, real thick sound that goes with reggae and, and always control your note lengths so that you're getting um, good rhythmic clarity in the bass.